Joining me now to talk about putting your invention on the map is Alexander Polterak, Chairman and CEO of the General Patent Corporation. Alex, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to be here, Ali. What is your company, General uh, Patent Corporation? We're an intellectual property management firm. We help inventors to license and enforce their patents. We help companies to create and implement intellectual property strategy, value their patents, manage intellectual property portfolio. All right. Now, the, the most interesting thing I think about a patent is that it doesn't afford you any rights at all. There's no, there's no positive rights that you get as a result of a patent. That's correct, Ali. Uh, many people don't understand that, but uh, patent, in fact, does not afford you any positive right and affords you only negative right. Patent is a right to exclude others from making, using, selling or importing your invention. Mm -hmm. It does not even give you right to practice your own invention. Interesting. What is the process one should go to? Let's say one is a tinkerer more than an inventor and you, you're, you're developing something over years and you've got, you know, you, you've got it to rudimentary um, uh, progress. You know, you're not, you don't have the final invention, the one that you want to market. At what point do you patent something? Let's remember that you cannot patent an idea. Okay. An invention has to be reduced to practice before it can be patented. It does not mean that you have to build a working prototype. Okay. It could be done either through building a model mm -hmm. or through uh, filing a patent application. Mm -hmm. uh, for invention to be patentable, it has to be novel, non-obvious, and useful. And on top of that, your invention disclosure must be sufficiently detailed to enable others to practice your invention without any new experimentation. Okay, now how do you know when the thing that you think you've invented, how, how do you know it hasn't been invented already? Well, uh, you do a basic uh, prior art search. You search U.S. patent database, you search uh, uh, foreign patent database, such as European uh, patent database. You do not have to do that. The patent law does not require an inventor to do prior art search before um, filing patent application. This is a job of a patent examiner at the patent office. So when you apply, right? so if you apply and your patent is granted, what if, are there ever mistakes? Do they ever grant patents to two people of the same invention? Absolutely. Uh, if the two patents um, are concurrent during their phase of prosecution in the patent office, then there is a procedure what's called interference hearing, which determines who was the first to invent uh, this particular invention. Let's remember that the United States is uh, one of the only countries in the world which is first to invent versus first to file. Interesting. In Europe, whoever files first would right. get a patent. In the United States, it, who invents first. All right. Now, what happens if your patent is infringed upon? Is that something that the, the, the law takes over, the government takes over, or you have to sue? The uh, law grants you a limited monopoly for disclosure of your invention. However, this monopoly, unfortunately, does not come with its own police. Inventor is pretty much left to his or her own devices in enforcing the patent rights. Uh, therefore, you would need to police the marketplace for the uh, acts of infringement. And once you discover this acts of infringement, you must act in a timely fashion. Otherwise, you may run into the problem what is called latches, uh, and you really need to act uh, quite expeditiously to enforce your patent rights. That, by the way, is not cheap. It, com yeah. it comes at a steep price. Uh, today, cost of patent infringement litigation is upward of $2 million. This is a fascinating story. Thank you very much for joining us to tell us a bit about it. You're welcome, Ali. It's a pleasure to be here. Alex Polterek is the chairman and CEO of General Patent Corporation.